I'm good friends with the Baraka family in North New Jersey, Mary and Mina Baraka. About five years ago, the, uh, their oldest daughter was being viciously beaten by their, the, her husband. Like most women, got a restraining order, nothing happened. You know, he showed up back at the house one time, went to the back to try to destroy the pool. The second time, he tried to set her car on fire. The third time, the wife wasn't the wife wasn't there, but her youngest sister and her youngest sister's partner came to the house. He shot both of them, murdered them in cold blood. He's in jail for life. That's what should happen. You know what I mean? I'm talking about if someone, I'm not talking about if it's murder, jail for life. You know? I'm talking about if someone is able to be rehabilitated, they haven't committed murder, you know what I mean? And there seems to be some some way of helping that person to think about violence and a different thinking about ending violence in their lives, getting some sort of treatment, that's very different. That's something that I would sit down with with people from various organizations like Men Stopping Violence out of Atlanta, Georgia, which is one of the most important organizations in this country. Country, Men Stopping Rape out of Washington, DC. I wouldn't just say me, Kevin Powell, is gonna work on this. I'm gonna work with the organizations that already exist out there. How do we stop violence? What are those treatments? or rehabilitation programs that exist that can actually help. Men Stopping Violence in Atlanta, they have circles, which are very similar to the circle that George and I have put together every single month, where men talk in a space that is very helpful so they can understand it is not acceptable in any shape or form to be violent or abusive towards women and girls.